Are we going to die again? But it's on. Uh, who's got the other one? You want to do this one? I thought he wanted to do it. Let's do it. Right, I do it? Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Dude, they're both fucking dead. Right. I think they're. I think they're gonna die. I think the. I think these are gonna die. Clay, you're good, bro. All right, folks. Just get ready. Get ready for the backup microphone. Yeah. Uh, she's coming. Okay. Backup mic is going to be here before you know it. Battle of the two Davis is going on right here, right now. Two heaviest of heavyweights. So funny enough, Clay, Mike Davis went up on a blind bid. Clay did not go up to any blind bid. Wow. I was very surprised. It's not a good start. So Oh, there we go. Mike Davis calling the nine. I like Top left here. corner. And... Good shot. Just like that. After a long day, we've been here since 12 p.m. Got the hot seat matchup now. Full series, nine ball, extravaganza at Rackham. With Mike Davis, Moscone Mike... And Clay Chacho Davis. Chacho? No relation. <laughs> and uh, on the table, on the table to their left, you've got um, Eddie Little going up against the Joey legend. Fox right now. Yeah. yeah. Legend level. So what's all kicking off here? I would imagine the next match that's played is going to be the championship match. What is it? Third place. Loser versus winner, third place, and then the. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. And then whatever happens, you just place wherever you place. So would you do you? But you're not gonna do the championship match at the same time as that. I missed that part. So Mike Davis up here with a quick start, one zero with a combo on the nine. On Clay's break, so now he gets his own break since it's alternating. Is he gonna shot the one? He does get a cut on it and a way to get back on the two. This is dangerous. That first shot's going to be the toughest one, but it's a pretty natural English to get to the two. I like the bank here, drawn out of it. I like the cut. But we we about to find out. You can also be some defense here. I know that uh, Joey's been doing this a lot here with his exact same shot most of the tournament. It's tempting, but I feel like... I feel like he's a champion. Yeah, wow. buddy. He put a lot of bottom right on that. More right than anything. But he got really good shape on that two ball. Now he just has to beat the eight. Come out. Just enough. Ooh. I was right up to that eight ball. Great safety. That was a great safety. So, at this point, you're praying. He actually got on the bad side of that eight ball, too. He has to go three rails. Is he loading it? He's doing three rails, right? Oh, I don't think he's done. Yeah, there you go. Nice hit. Nice hit. And honestly, if he doesn't leave him straight in, you can't ask for much more. Yeah.
I'm trying to take this into the top right hand corner pocket here. Or at least, the top, yeah. He's trying to beat that pocket hard. Yeah. I think if you're trying to beat that pocket, you got to play that with a little bit of draw, maybe inside to make sure it comes back out. And I'm saying this, full disclosure, play destroyed me. <laughs> he put me in the loser's bracket. It's crazy how much accuracy he gets off of those jump shots. He like two strokes it and just nails it. He made one during my match. Gets off the table so clean too. Hey man, if it works, it works. I don't think I could ever do that. Uh, Mike Davis calling a nine. Yeah, he's calling a nine here, just in case, as he put it. Yeah, I don't think I think he's gonna try and bank it, play the big pocket. He's gonna bank the five ball here, big pocket, big pocket. Great shot. Find himself in a nice position to be able to take this six on. Yeah. Play on the left side of this eight here. So he could play it with top and get on the lower side of the, like playing around that side pocket. Yeah, so he stuns it with a little bit of draw. I don't like this so much because now he has a cut on the eight that gets him hitting on the nine ball possibly. He might be able to squeeze by it, but. I think he does squeeze by. But even if he brushes it, that nine ball's not going to move too much. Well, that's the thing. It, it adds a level of uncertainty to it. Yeah. Okay, good. And it'll look like See, a yeah. And you can tell, like, okay, I think that happened because he was so concerned about hitting the nine ball. I like cutting into the right side here. Yeah. He likes going the but, other way. Yeah, he's going left. I mean, he should make this. Yeah, I was shaking a lot. Great shot. That's crazy. Great. All right. Mike Davis jumping out to a strong lead early. Now. 2-0. I know it's very similar because me and Mike look alike. I was up two, and then Clay just <laughs> came back and didn't let me win anymore. Well, let's see if history, uh, if history is going to repeat itself here. I don't know. Mike and I are about the same skill level, so, you know. <laughs> it's, it's a, yeah. <laughs> he went to the Moscone Cup. I've watched several <laughs> Moscone Cups. <laughs> Same thing, man. I was. It was like I was. It was like I was there. <laughs> Let's see if he gets. Yep. Oh, automatic. Good. That six did not. I thought that six hit that cue while I was going to the side. So he's got to look at the two ball. Getting on the three is going to be the tough shot here. You would definitely want to play it off the left side rail, but that four and a nine is causing some traffic. Yeah, see, that four ball. Good, though. I mean, yeah, okay, so he doesn't have a shot here on the three. I think you actually have to shoot it in the corner uh, to get shape on the four. Yeah, I was going to say, I like the side with some top left and just kind of coming underneath to the right side of the six here to get back down to. Yeah, just like that. definitely see you at Ness's. Any kind of speed shot, I'm always iffy because it, it's been such a bear. And that was like going right into the corner. Mm -hmm. Either way, he played it good. That's all you can ask for. He has. He should have, He should be out from here. That was a tough shot here. Yeah. Same thing. You're just going to push through the be board. weird off of that nine. Yeah, he has to get past it. Good shot. Yeah, that's He's good. He's already going to get a natural angle yeah. to be able to come up with a six. So. Hey. I'm getting like PTSD from watching Clay shoot during my match. <laughs> when he gets on a roll, it is. Oh, oh man, I want to throw like a rock at him. <laughs> to be like, <laughs> just... he gets in his zone. I like him taking another look. Thank at this. you, sir. You want to watch your high stroke here? Good yeah. ball. Natural position, just push through the seven. Come up oh. a rail. Honestly, I think he just he almost draw to the right. Shooting, shooting through the this. Right. Uh, it's a ball. Well, two I like playing that top pocket. 
I'm just going to give it to him. Yeah. What a guy. What, what a guy. guy. What a guy. One, charity. Two. The charity. Let's go. Let's go. Let's run, boys. Thank our uh, thank our sponsors for the <laughs> tournament today. Always, always looking to shout those those folks out. They help us out tremendously here. Res debris removal and hauling, portable license general contractors, boys plumbing, pooldoctors.com, inkwell design, alpha installations, Paul Harrison Custom Cues. Thank y'all so much, man. Shout out to our fantastic host, Rackham Billiards. Out here in Matthews, North Carolina. Carolina. Oh, it's midnight, isn't it? Yep. Seven minutes past. I'm tired. Hey, <laughs> balls just going to take a nice little walk down there. Okay. Katie, you can sit anywhere. Don't ever ask me that again. Don't ever ask me that again. Four balls in a in an awkward position there. Sit anywhere. Um, I wonder if that four goes in between the nine and the five to the top left hand corner. Like you're talking about with my lap, because I had to actually say no to that. Any reasons? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's probably like reason seven why I had to say no. <laughs> I think it's going to start to the left side rail. Three, mm -hmm. no drinks on the pool table. I guess the does the four go by the down or maybe he's gonna play defense here? I have to assume it does if he played it that way. There's a bunch of two stop shots there. I'm gonna roll forward from the five. Perfect. It does go by a while. That's a nice shot. A little bit of check on that cue ball. He's Pull it towards to... that six. He's going to have to hit this with a little bit more pizzazz. Get it off that rail. Come back down for the nine. Nice little stun shot right there. A little stun yeah. shot. Play gives up the, the rack and the first set. Mike takes the first one. 3 1. Shit. Got two kids, man. You're upset because that set went like seven minutes. So sad. So sad about it. No, I'm tired, bro. You do have two kids, man. Right? I hit a wall. Let's give it a couple more months. You'll have three. Impossible. Um, oh yeah, that's impossible, baby. We lock that thing down. Two and that's it. Two and out. Two and done. Two and done. And I got a boy and a girl. Mic drop. Out of there. My dad did the same thing. Yeah. And he just left. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the end of that. No, yeah, your dad lives with you. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I like, Wait a minute. I had to think about that. The delivery was very convincing. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Great break here about Moscone. Wow. Line. That's three on the break, and no look on the two. That is rough. That is so rough. I just walked away from it. I'm like, all right, bye-bye. Nice job. Good break. I mean, at some point, you get used to it. <laughs> Probably goes rail first here. You got to go. You might even be able to make it. I mean, I wonder if he, yeah, but would he actually do it? Because it would actually be a good kick and stick, get that five in between the cue ball and the two. But... Do you go for it? I mean, he's up a set, right? So, in my mind, that would allow you to be more aggressive. He could fluke the five. I 
I mean, but to your point, I think uh, the kick and stick is definitely the better attempt there versus trying to make it. Yeah. But uh, he's he's really looking at that. He's pushing out. Yeah, I don't see Clay giving this back. Hmm. Yeah. So we're looking at the bottom right corner. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But when it comes time to make a ball, you can't take it. Right. Problem is that left side pocket takes out a lot of options for English. Assuming he's going to come off the left side rail, go two rails, left and bottom. I think he's shooting. So you think he's shooting at this, dude? Great ball. Yeah, he was shooting at that the whole time. I thought, see, this is, I thought, yeah, exactly. You don't want to get on the rail here, but. For sure. He was just trying to. <laughs> I mean, difficult shot here, of course, shooting off of the rail, almost full length with the table, and it's a cut into the top left-hand corner, but he does have a natural position to get to yeah. the next one. It's just, I do not like slow rolling on racking tables. You gotta like trust the table. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Beautiful shot. Yeah, he struck that confidently. That was nice. Never a doubt. Never a doubt. So now you come out two rails behind the seven. Oh, he's going to the oh, four. He wanted to, he wanted to take the nine ball out of the equation there. That was good. Very confident stroke. Scary. A slide right on over to the left here. Just like that. Nice Ooh. shot. Kind of that pushed was, that ball over. That was a stroke shot. Yeah. He hit he hit like he broke into that. And that ball just rolled forward. To get perfect shape on the eight. This is scary. He's getting, uh, he's turning it on for sure. Scary, scary. Strong close out here by Mike Davis. Taking the first set in the second, or excuse me, the first rack in the second set. Very strong out. Seems like he's got the speed of the table down. Players having a conversation about the type of shot that Mike decided to take. I was really on a two ball, maybe. I overheard him saying something about he yeah. throws that um, in particular because of these pockets. I wonder if he's alluding to these pockets really spitting balls out. You give it too much spin, too much spin, too much speed. They're definitely figuring out the break here. And he gets a look at the one ball. There. I'm pretty sure that I think that two goes by the six as well. I think it does. He's a stop us. I think he might be going. Is he looking on the side or all the way down there? I'm thinking stop shot on the side. He's going all the way down. Is he? Oh. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what angle I thought I saw. I mean it's a smaller pocket, but you can't like if you can just play a stop shot and get perfect on the two. I don't think you want to gamble on the top right corner. Oh, tickets. That's rough. It's 
See a piece of it? I wonder if he's going to take out the jump key because he's been... Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Make sure your trade tables and seat are in the upright and locked positions. Oh. Does he flip Let's go, babe, one time. Hoo-ah! What a shot. Never a doubt. So now he has come back down for the six. Mm. Nice little pocket there. Get by the seven. Beautiful shot. I'm assuming he's going to get like center table shape here. Yeah. I think that gives him the best angle to get on the eight. Yeah. Nice. I wonder how dead in he is, though. Yeah, he's putting draw on this. He's, like, straight in, apparently. Easy. More draw. More draw shots. That's rough. Does he get the roll? No, he does not. That's even worse. No, he does not. You gotta take advantage of that. Because Mike is not missing. So you giving up that rack as well to Mike. 2 0 in the second set here. This might be a quick one. The hot seat. I'm calling uh I'm calling Moscone Mike break and run right here to close it out. That's, not, that's definitely not another realm of possibility. I mean, judging from past breaks, he's figured out the break. He typically makes two one or two on the break. He just has to get a good look on the next ball. Let's see what the pool gods offer us. Ooh, one ball in, two ball. Ooh, that two nine is on. Yeah. Two nine is on. Yeah, you got to call this and go for this right here, right now. You think he makes it? Yes. Katie, does he make it? Uh, Katie. Huh? Katie, does he make it? <laughs> Katie Bischoff says yes. <clears throat> oh no, that is in the wrong pocket. <laughs> so the nine ball spots. You're not wrong. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, everything was so far away from each other, you know. I mean, that it's really difficult. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, he swerved. Around that six ball in order to make that. That was a nice shot. But now we got that seven nine. It's doable, but we got to play around it. He's going to come out on the right side of the six with this. That's good. Gives him a good angle on the five. You almost want to get in straight behind the five here. Yeah. Boom. I think he wants to draw this like below the side pocket. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Nice as well. A little, a little, uh, maybe almost even center ball might be okay here. We're gonna see some back down the table. Huh. Oh. Even with putting left on that, he killed it off the rail and it still flew. He should look at this 7-9 combo here. I don't think it's on. He might have to really overcut the 7 to force that. I'm He's calling not calling. 
Might be playing defense here. Yeah, you gotta play. Oh, what a great shot. Stop, wow. stop, 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 stop. God, that was, that was a really good shot. Yeah. Imagine you gotta hit that so shot softer. That was a good idea though. I liked it. Oh yeah, Tony Vito. He's good. Yeah. But Mike does not miss. That's all she wrote, folks. If you say so. It's taking long strokes here. Booyah. Team. All right. Blouses. My, Mike Davis closing it out. 3 0. It's a solid, solid match by Mike Davis right there. Absolutely. Decisively. Um, and so, yeah, we're waiting for the next one to come around, folks. Stay tuned.